Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me at the Belfry. We're on the Brabazon course, we're on the fourth hole, and we're going to talk about the distance you stand from the golf course. It's a question we get asked quite a lot down the academy. Golfers are very, very unsure about how far away from the golf hall they should stand. Uh, and often they come with these ideas that they've been given about sort of, you know, checkpoints or ways that they can test whether they're the right distance to the ball. Uh, and by doing these, they can sort of help some areas of the game, but maybe, maybe not help other areas of the game. So the key thing here would be there is no correct distance that you stand, sorry, there is no one distance that you stand from the golf ball. It will vary as you change clubs and as you change shots. And that's really, really important to understand, okay? So any checkpoints that you've maybe been given, um, we're gonna go through some of that, what some of those might be, will maybe work with some clubs but we can't apply those to all clubs. So I've got a section of golf clubs here. I've got a six iron, uh, I've got one of my wedges and I've got my driver. So if I take my setup with a six iron, then I certainly would want a little bit of a gap between the, the butt of the club and my legs. Now, in the past, some golfers have been told that you should be able to get your hand through there, and that's not a bad guide. I would say that's a pretty standard way of saying you should be able to get your hand between your legs uh, and the grip of the club, and that's gonna put you roughly the right distance away from the golf ball with that six iron, okay? However, if I change and I pick up my one of my wedges here, and let's say I'm going to play a little shot over about 30 or 40 yards. Um, obviously not that I would off this particular hole, but if I was trying to hit a shot of 30 or 40 yards, I would take my setup like this and I would be much, much closer. Now I cannot get my hand between the butt of the club and my legs there. Okay, I've got no gap. I've probably only got about two inches. So I'm much, much closer to that golf ball than I was with my six iron. The reason for that is that allows my arms to sit a little bit more onto my rib cage. That allows me to get a little bit more in close to the ball. It allows me to play more of a field shot. So I'm much, much closer with that shot. I would struggle to play that shot with that much distance. That wouldn't look particularly orthodox and we wouldn't see many good players adopting that position. If we then go into the driver, so I'm just gonna peg this one up. Okay, we're looking to get as much speed as we can into this club head. It's a longer golf club. So if I take my starting position to this, Okay, we've now got a much greater gap. Okay, we've got slightly more than hand width. I would really struggle to play that, sorry. I would really struggle to play this driver successfully if I had my hands as close as I would with a six iron. And I would be almost impossible to hit this golf if I stood as close as I was with my, with my wedge. So when you look at the best players in the world, um, you know, the, the, the guys and the girls who are on TV week in, week out, you will see their arms hang a little bit more out and away with the driver, maybe the three wood, than it will with a six iron, okay? So there is no one checkpoint. The most common one we hear is that you should be able to get your hand between the golf club and the legs. It does apply to certain clubs, but it doesn't apply right through the bag, every golf club, every shot type. So it's understanding that yes, it might apply for your irons or some of your irons for a full swing, but when we get to driver, we're not looking for the same checkpoints. The arms want to hang a little bit further away from you. That's gonna give you a little bit more room and help you generate a little bit more speed in the club head and that's going to hopefully help you hit it a little bit further. So understanding how the arms hang relative to the body can really help you adopt a good starting position and if we can adopt a good starting position we've got every chance of making a better goal swing and obviously hitting better shots. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this, uh, this driver. So you should see the arms certainly hanging a little further away than maybe what they would with a six iron. So if I take my starting position there, you can see there's a good distance. It's certainly more than a hand's width. My arms are maybe hanging a little bit more outwards in this particular setup. So let's give it a go. Okay. Okay, pretty, dry, pretty good drive, I'm happy with that. Came up the middle and that allowed me to get some good speed into that golf club, more rotation, the arms are working a little bit more out. That helped me hit the centre. I would not adopt that setup with a six iron. I would certainly be a little bit closer and certainly for a 30, 40 yard pitch shot, I'd be much, much closer still, okay? So it's something which we really need to understand. Uh, it's something which you see golfers get wrong. Um, and again, a lot of it is just due to the concept. They're trying to do the same thing with all clubs and that's not really gonna work. So if you can understand this, it's gonna definitely put you in some better positions at setup and that's gonna lead to some better shots. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, click the like button if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. These videos are going up weekly, different content, different topics, and post any comments in the box down below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can, uh, whether it's a comment in this video, whether it's a suggestion on videos that you'd like me to do. Uh, more than happy to, to read some of those and hopefully do a video that might help you. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.